No more newbie here, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a freeze frame just like this. So if you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make gaming videos using the free and easy Share Factory app on the PS4 then this is the channel for you so please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. Okay so getting straight into it this is the video just playing once more. Okay, so we've got two freeze frames in this clip. Now, obviously, absolutely fine if you've only got the one freeze frame needed, um, but I've got two and I'm just gonna repeat the process for each one, so not an issue. We've also added some music to that clip. Now, you don't have to add music at all. You can just freeze frame the clip and uh, in your, add it to a montage, absolutely fine. Um, I've put some music in, and it's up to you whether, if you decide to use music, it's up to you whether you wanna put the music in first and then adjust the clips around it. I've decided to do it the other way and um, I already had a bit of music in mind. So let's just carry on with uh, how to do it. So we go into my projects and then we've got a clip here called freeze frame and the clip is just one uh, seven second clip and that's it there. So what we want to do is start adjusting the clip. And like I said, we're going to add the music part of the way through. So the first thing to do is find the part you want to freeze and I want to freeze it just before the gun fires here. So using the D-pad to move left and right to find that actual frame. Once you've done that, we are splitting the clip. Okay, and confirm. And then without moving the cursor at all, we want to um, take a screenshot. So we just go to screenshot and save screenshot. And then what we want to do is find the screenshot. So add screenshot then find it and it's the last one we took so we uh, press cross and uh, square that's added it in there and uh, frustratingly it takes the picture of the whole lot you can't take a picture of just the gameplay so you have to pan and zoom to get to where you want it and the magic number is 176% and that is just missing that orange bar at the bottom there and then you just save but you send a push in this uh, cross button and then you want to trim the clip to for this uh, we're just going to trim it to one second okay and that's the smallest amount we can do okay so it's just added in the freeze frame there and then it carries on with the clip perfect okay and then what we're going to do is move along it again until just before the second shot okay and then we just split the clip again and confirm there and then that is that one again we take uh, we push the share button once on the controller and we save the screenshot and then we add sp screenshot so we go push the cross button confirm and add screenshots find the screenshots and add and exactly the same thing again it's taken us screen uh, the shot of the whole screen so we need to zoom in to the uh, gameplay and uh, so we pan and zoom again 176 percent and just move it up to above that orange bar at the bottom and confirm okay and then we're trimming the clip again so go to trim clip and reduce that down all the way to oh, as low as it'll go but one second is what we want for here i've just noticed the other clip there is bigger so i obviously didn't get that quite down to one so i think we'll have to reduce that down uh, back down to one as well okay so we'll do that in a second so uh, what we want to do is add in some effects as well so if we go on to the freeze frame bit and we push the uh, cross button it will we can add some uh, go to add overlays and then we can go to camera effects down the uh, left hand side and you've got a variation of these but um, I use heartbeat or quake normally um, and I think I'm going to go for a low setting on this one so 15 you can make it more and it, but this will just be quite subtle it's not going to be too in your face um, camera duration we want to move that so that it's for, throughout the whole clip and confirm and then that will look something like this okay so very subtle and then same again we'll go to uh, add overlay and heartbeat camera duration is already on full and okay the other one we had to adjust because it was a shorter 
uh, sorry, longer clip. So we'll just bring that back down to one second like it should have been in the first place. Okay, so that's better. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so the, we're going to uh, put that one to Quake actually, just so we've got two different types to show you. Okay, then we want to choose a filter and we can go for wind or VHS and this sort of thing normally works quite well, but again, add which ones you want to. And we'll bring that down because it gives it a real blur. Um, so I don't want it completely blurred. Uh, again, 15 is the number we'll go for here. And the same again for the other one. So add filter down to wind and then edit filter to go to filter settings and then back down to 15 and confirm excellent okay so this is what we've got so far okay so I'm happy with that so we can add the music into it okay so add music uh, choose I've already knew that I wanted to use this uh, make some noise track so this is just using the share factory music so up to you which ones you want to use I'm going to do another video on importing music soon so um, keep an eye out for that but uh, for the moment I'm just using the share factory music choices there okay so looking at the video the first freeze frame clip I want to line up with the music is about three seconds into the clip so I'm going to choose a section um, or I'm going to split the music about three seconds before the bit that I want to line up with the video so I'm just going to go back about three seconds and then split the clip there and split and confirm okay and then we're just going to delete that part Okay, and then we're just going to go on to the music and push the square button to, um, so we're just going to move the music and move it all the way to the beginning of the video and it should roughly line up to where we want it to be and then we can split the rest of it later. Okay, so if we just play this. Okay. So it almost the first bit sort of lines up okay. So almost. So we're just going to have to tweak the um, the music a little bit to uh, get that to how we want it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to delete the clip. Um, oh, sorry. Um, no. I'm going to um, split the music just so we've got. Uh, we haven't got loads of music in here we're not going to need all that anyway so and then we can just move the music around to try and fit it a little bit better and we can adjust obviously the um, the length of the the video clips as well so I'm just gonna I think move the uh, music a little bit further towards the end and then we we'll see what that looks like there you go there you go okay if you found you want it wasn't quite working with the music then what you could go is do is go into trim clip and just move the video just slightly longer or shorter um, in the clips there just if you wanted to to make it work but once you're happy with that then we can just fade in and fade out the music so just go into edit music fade in and then just change the duration to however you want the same with fade out go in change it for however long you want and then once you're happy with that we can um, just play it one last time. Okay, so we just need to render the clip. So we can just push the options button and go to export to gallery and then share later and then save project and exit. And then this is ready to be added to a montage or something if you wanted to. So you could go to new project and then get rid of these arrows. And then we will uh, just go to most recent and there's the freeze frame clip there so you click on that with the cross and then square to confirm we can rename it later and this is it okay and 
and then obviously if you you would add your own outro or go into another clip at the end so whichever you prefer and if you want to add your own outro then check out my other videos um, I've got one on and add in an outro and lots of other share factory videos as well so to watch those and if you found this useful and haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe thanks